Hi there, welcome to Broadband Expert YouTube channel and in this video I am going to show you how you could set up the D-Link DIR505 under the router mode and to get started you need to first set up the router under the first option which says router or AP and uh, you need to move it this way and set it up on that place next you need to connect it to the power adapter and then insert the internet cable here this cable is actually provided to you by the ISP and this is what you need to connect and then proceed to the steps mentioned now it's time to set up the D-Link DIR505 router and for this you need to first insert the cable onto your router and ensure that it's connected and the power is also enabled next you would find the router's light to be on and then you need to first go to the network options on your PC and then try to connect to the router which shows up there it's right now showing as D-Link AFDE connect to the same and it would ask you for the network security key this is a password which is given to you with the package itself which says the password just enter the same and proceed with the next option in order to connect to this specific network it will take a while for the connection to be done following which you would be ready so now as you can see we are actually connected to the network that's the D-Link AFTE now it's time to access a website on your browser which is just D-Link router just enter this on your browser and you should be ready to go and now you are connected to the router following which you need to access this website that is D-Link router and it will take you to this specific web page now as you can see it shows the hardware version that's A1 the firmware version that's 1.0.4 and uh, it says this is the D-Link setup wizard this would take you to the different options now in order to proceed you need to first go through all these options click on next and here it says router is detecting your internet connection type please wait you can select the option of router or access point in case of access point it shows up different options so let's proceed with the router option in this case and uh, router allows the device to share Wi-Fi network at your home in case of access point, the access point allows the device to act as a wireless transmitter for your router or become a separate access point. So let's proceed with the router setup. Click on next. So it's asking us to set up the type of connection that is dynamic IP address. Choose if this internet connection automatically provides you with an IP address. But in case if you are with a connection wherein it's connected through a telephone, then you should actually select the second option that's a username or password connection that's PPPOE uh, option which would actually be with the most DSL modems. The third one is PPTP and the fourth one is L2TP and the fifth one is static IP connection. So in our case we can go ahead with the dynamic IP itself and then it would ask us to set up a new SSID. You can either go with the default one if you want to always keep the Wi-Fi configuration card with you or else you can obviously create a new one which could be something uh, unique and then this is where you can enter the secret password following which you are ready to go click on next and then now it's asking us to set up a password now this password is actually for connecting to this uh, D-Link browser page and not for the normal Wi-Fi connection and this would ensure that no one can actually enter the D-Link security area or the modems configuration area and change any other details so you can change these details too now it's asking us to select the time zone you can select the right time zone and then it would show you the final confirmation of the Wi-Fi network name that's SSID and the Wi-Fi password click on save and then the router would be restarted and then you would be given an option to connect to this new SSID and this is how you can actually set up the router mode on the D-Link DIF505 router. Do like this video if you actually like the content and we hope to see you in our next video on youtube.com slash broadband experts.